Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Shoes. Welcome back to the Serengeti Zoo here on Planet Zoo in our franchise mode. Welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a speed build of our wonderful giraffes, which we will be bringing in just here in a second. I do want to go over a few things, however. Now, I know that I've been doing some bigger projects, a lot more speed builds for this zoo, and we've been more focusing on the bigger idea things. I promise you that after this speed build and after this video, we're going to be focusing more on the minor details around the zoo as well, because that's also one thing that makes this zoo look very nice and pretty. So we'll begin into that on a later date. However, we are bringing in our giraffes and we have this nice open space for them. And I start off by making a huge ditch on the outside layer of the path. And with that, I had this idea that maybe we fill it with some water, add some rocks on the side, so it creates more of a natural barrier for our guests. But I decided against that. I ended up deciding that it wasn't going to be the best idea, and I'll tell you more about that later. But as for the building here, we are making a huge shelter building. I want our guests to view our giraffes in two different ways. I want them to see it from the ground and from up high. And from the ground, I want them to see it through this nice building here where they're able to sleep in. And I outline it first with a plaster wall and then I end up changing it to mud because I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to approach the building. And I end up building it very high to begin off with. And I end up changing this because the giraffes weren't as tall as I thought they were. I like really overestimated how tall they would be. So we end up bringing down the size a little bit at a later date, which you will see. But as for the design of the building, we're gonna be kind of mimicking it to a certain extent, the design of our hub. And with the colors on the hub actually, is one thing that I forgot to mention about in last video for Serengeti, is that the colors are actually, they actually mimic the colors of the national park over in Africa. So the Serengeti National Park actually has blue and green colors to them, which are their main colors. Or either it's that or it's a, the Tanzania flag that has those colors. But regardless, we end up using those colors on a lot of the buildings. We're gonna be changing it up here and there, but for more of the big buildings, we're gonna mimic the same design and the same colors for that. So with this nice habitat building, we are gonna be making it indoors for our guests if they would like to view the giraffes while they are sleeping. Once again, kind of creepy. As I say, people are gonna be viewing other animals while they're sleeping type thing. I don't know why, but every time I say that, it just sounds creepy. But regardless, we end up building in a habitat wall, a wooden habitat wall to be exact. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it up to the proper level and we're gonna add some glass in there. I was thinking about adding some of the glass pieces from the New World pack, so all the modern glass pieces that come with the game. We did research it, but I decided against it because I don't know if these guys are going to get stressed if we have humans looking through glass that isn't one way. So I decided to put in the barrier and add the glass after the fact, and then if we need to we're going to research the barriers more so we can get that one way glass installed. Now as for the habitat size itself, these guys do need approximately 1100 square meters. We did multiply that by two just around, so these guys have plenty of space. We end up cutting off a lot of the space however from where we are at right now. We want to build a little sky bridge so people can kind of climb up some stairs, get on a similar viewing level with these giraffes, which is very important. And it took me a few tries. I didn't know how I wanted to approach it, but I know I wanted a decently wide path so it didn't get too congested congested up there. But then we come into this and we're like, I don't know if the water is going to work, the water natural barrier. I felt like our habitat was actually too small for these guys. So I decided to save the space with the water and I wanted to make sure that there wasn't that ditch anymore. And what we end up doing is we end up surrounding it with the wooden barrier. And I felt like this worked out just fine with this habitat because I wanted to make sure during certain paths and certain areas, we didn't have guests stopping to view the giraffes where they shouldn't be just to prevent that congestion, especially later in the future for when we build other habitats behind the giraffe habitat. Another thing I forgot to keep in mind in this habitat speed build is that we want to incorporate a safari ride at some point, but as you can tell, it is a very small habitat as of right now. So with that being said, 
I'm not quite sure how we're gonna get it in here and we're gonna have to probably do a lot of re renovation type style work when we actually bring in that safari ride. So it's definitely something that I have to keep in mind for future videos and future speed builds, future construction. So I'll have to keep that in mind. Although we did take away our ditches, we didn't take away our little water reservoir over here because one thing that people love to see are giraffes bend down and drink water because they actually spread their front legs. And with doing that, I thought it would look really weird if we gave them like a little like water dish or of some sort. So we just added it in a body of water and did that instead of getting a staff to refill a water dish of some sort because that's just kind of ridiculous. And we do have a water pump. We did add that because I almost forgot last video. We added a water pump into our main hub building. And we were also able to start getting an idea of how we wanted to lay out the staff path in there. So the only staff access points for these two habitats, the giraffe and the Nile monitors, do come from our hub. Back over here at our nice shelter building, we did bring down the roof. We had it at approximately eight total meters, but we did bring it down to six instead. So that is where we are at. We did fix that. When we brought in the giraffes, I was like, whoa, these guys aren't as tall as I thought they were. For some reason, my aspect ratio in the head was just kind of all thrown off kind of misunderstood or misrepresented it with something else so <laughs> i don't know if we were bringing dinosaurs or what but certainly was not the right size so we did bring everything down we also did add some nice glass panels in the roof because it is you know a zoo and we want things to be natural so therefore we did decide to put in some natural light we didn't add any artificial light into this building except for where our guests will be walking which I may have forgotten to do that now that I thought about think about it so maybe I'll have to go back in and change that but except for this building right next to it in between the path the skywalk and the building itself we are gonna be building a nice little food court it's not gonna be big it's gonna be just a little station I think I added a chief beef and a gulpy in there that's all I had right now and it's a nice little spot just for people to go grab food and drinks. I don't know how well it's gonna work out because people are probably gonna like crowd it so much to where people will actually get pissed with me, but it's better to have it than not. Now that I think about it, I don't even have a bathroom in this park and <laughs> I have to add a bathroom. So I'm just thriving. I, I'm forgetting about things as I go along, but I remember to put in an ATM. You guys will see that in the little scenery, the little uh, moving images at the end, the little, I forgot what to call it. But at the end of the video, after I'm stopped talking, you'll get to see all the visuals. There we go, I'll just call it visuals. But of course, we do need to get this area suitable for our giraffes. We do have the food cages for them so they can eat as if they were real trees. And then we add in some other trees around here. Now, one thing that I don't like is that we can, we really can't put in a tree. And I didn't even think about this. Can we put in a tree inside one of the food cages to make it look like the food cage is a fake tree, but it kind of looks more natural like they're eating out of a tree. I know they do that at some zoos and you know, certain areas where animals can actually just eat out of a regular tree and they just fill up the tree instead. It's not like this big metal cage. So I think I'm gonna look into that and I wonder if we can turn the cages a different color. I ask a lot of questions to myself after the fact and actually that's something I'm gonna look into. So maybe I'll update you guys on the next speed build to see if we do change that. But these guys do spend most of their time in the safari and I say safari, my apologies. They do spend a lot of their time in the savanna slash grassland biome. And they actually do also go into the tropical areas a little bit because that's where a lot of vegetation is for them. So we end up putting a lot of nice shaded trees in there. Hopefully that gives it more of a specific natural look for them. This is definitely more of the grassland biome, so I didn't really put, I actually didn't put in any tropical plants in this habitat just to keep it more consistent with the other areas surrounding this. But over here toward our skywalk, we actually do end up throwing in a nice roof for our people so the sun does stay off their back. Hopefully they are more excited about that. Now one thing is, is that we did struggle about this in the Shizen Hogoku Zoo. Anyone that doesn't know about the Shizen Hogoku Zoo, it is another one of our zoos in the tropical biome of Asia. And that zoo 
has a lot of complaints with people that are just complaining about how hot it is outside. So the way that we actually reduce that is by not only adding shading areas, but also by adding coolers inside buildings and stuff like that. So as in for the Shizen Hogoku Zoo, we are going to be trying to improve upon that in future videos as well. Now I did like how this building did come out, the little shelter, so it does give them enough shade and it gives this building kind of a rough look to it. Not like a perfect look, but a nice rough look, which is really what we're aiming for. It's not supposed to be super special. And we may add some decorations on the outside of it for later, but not quite sure yet. We will get into the more specific details, like I said, at a later date. We also do add in some wooden planks and then we add in a fence above that so it looks like it's a little bit more sturdy for our people so it doesn't look like they can just jump off or trip over the side. So that is very important. But other than that, it's adding our facility items and it's adding the please do, please be quiet signs, the do not feed the animal signs, the trash cans, donation bins, and of course the education. We really try to optimize the education for this. So it is, it should work out very well and we will be sure to keep an eye on that for later to make sure everything works out just fine. But other than that, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Please like this video if you'd like to help support out my channel. I would highly appreciate it. I am a startup YouTube channel. Any comments, suggestions, leave me down below. If you like, we do have a Discord. Please be sure to join that if you subscribe and join our Discord and let me know. I will give you a free shout out in the next few videos. So be sure to take advantage of that. And other than that, I don't think there's anything else to talk about. So I hope you guys enjoy the nice visuals at the end. And I will talk to you all later.